being a member of the North Charleston Fire Department was always something I, I felt very, very fortunate and just very lucky to be a member of the department. And I still feel that way today. I moved uh, to South Carolina in 1995. I still have a very clear memory of, of reading through want ads in the paper, and I read one to my wife. I said, firefighter, North Charleston Fire Department. And she said, you should put in for that. You'd be good at that. And I did, and I, I got the job and, and thought it'd be something very exciting to do and something very meaningful to do in terms of helping people in their most vulnerable circumstances. And that's something that I felt very strongly about. Joining the fire service was a fairly significant change. I had gone to college to be a teacher. I studied English and history and was planning to just take a break before I went to grad school. But when I started doing the job of a firefighter, I really fell in love with it. And it was something that I thought I would want to make a career out of. And I wanted to try and not only do the job, but also try and make our department better and more effective in doing the job as well. I love working as part of a crew, part of a team. I worked at Station One in Jenkins Avenue. The crew there was a lot of fun to work with. I had grown up with two older brothers and it was kind of a very similar dynamic where uh, we got to be together in the station and then go out kind of on little adventures and fight fires and go to medical calls and, and all kinds of different things. That action, that excitement, and that opportunity to help people was something that I just really enjoyed. It was very meaningful work. Coming up through the ranks, I got to know the other members of the fire department very well, and I recognized the potential that we had here in North Charleston. And I thought, as chief, if I could take care of our firefighters and support them and give them the training and the tools and the equipment that they needed, that we could set them up for success and that they would do a great job for the citizens. And that has absolutely paid off. I also recognize that the job itself is, is very challenging. We take very caring people and we expose them to terrible things day in and day out. And so I have always felt a responsibility to try to support them with all of the tools and the best practices that are available to take care of their long-term physical and emotional well-being. And uh, I'm proud of the work that we've done to try and support our members. What I'm most proud of is the leadership team that we have here and the great work that our members do every day. You know, before every shift, there's always a moment when, when I am getting my uniform ready, typically the night before a shift, and uh, I'm putting on uh, my badge and my collar pins. And that badge, those collar pins have changed over the years, but I still always feel very lucky to, to get the opportunity to be a member of the fire department. It's a, a great privilege, a great responsibility, and something that I never have taken for granted. I have to thank my family. My wife and I got married in, in 1995 and moved to South Carolina. So she has been with me my entire career. She's been incredibly supportive of, of my career, but it, it's more than that as well. She found the good in me, and that's really what it comes down to. She found the good in me, and none of this happens without her. Our kids, we, we have three daughters. They are 21, 18, and 14. Their entire lives, pr pretty much all they remember is me as, as, uh, as a chief officer or, or the fire chief. With my polyester clothes and my shiny shoes, they, at a young age, they got dragged to all kinds of different events and meetings and even emergency scenes. And I, I used to keep Disney princess coloring books in the back of my car so they would have something to do while they sat there. Sometimes fires and emergencies go, going on around them and, and they took it in stride. They are amazing young women. They are, they're smart, they're beautiful, they're kind, they're caring, and they're courageously following their own dreams. And uh, I couldn't be more, more proud of them and, and thankful for them.
And I'm very thankful for the members of our department, 285 people, that's a large group of people, but they, they do an outstanding job. They are caring people and they come in here and they give their best efforts to the citizens of our city every day. That's all that I could ever ask. They make me and our city very, very proud. If I had the opportunity and, and the energy, I would love to start over and begin this career all over again. It's been, it's been an amazing experience. I've been challenged in, in so many different ways, which has forced me to grow as a person in so many different ways and develop my, my skills and my abilities as, as a firefighter, as a fire officer, and a leader in the department. It's been a wonderful experience every step of the way. I, I will miss it very much.